In the heart of California's ever-evolving battle with water supply and demand, a groundbreaking project is on the horizon. The $4 billion site's reservoir, nestled in a naturally formed valley, is set to revolutionize the state's water infrastructure. Picture a reservoir so vast it could cover all of San Francisco in 50 feet of water. Come with us as we explore this ambitious endeavor, one that holds the promise of quenching the thirst of millions of homes and acres of crops while navigating the complex waters of environmental concerns and climate change. California's water future is on the brink of transformation. California is coming closer to building a sizable new reservoir inside a vast, naturally formed valley in Colusa County that resembles an elongated oval bowl. When finished, the $4 billion site's reservoir will have enough water to supply 5 million homes annually, or 500,000 acres of crops. That much water would be 50 feet deep and cover the whole area of San Francisco. In California, there is currently a considerable disparity between the supply and the water demand. But if you block off a gap that is 300 feet wide and another one that is similar to it, you can easily build one of California's biggest reservoirs. The mega reservoir would be the seventh largest. The California Department of Water Resources originally recognized this enormous, naturally occurring bowl as a potential reservoir in the 1950s, when it was more concerned with the state's rapid growth than with the drought and had no idea what climate change even meant. Sites Reservoir, according to Jerry Brown, who is not related to the past governor, would enhance Northern California's reservoir water storage capacity by 15%, with the water being divided among the state's top water goals. According to Brown, executive director of the Sites Project Authority, it serves farms, families, fish, and poultry. These advantages would extend down to Southern California from the Northern Central Valley to the Bay Area. The Sacramento River would supply the water for the sites. However, water would only be taken during the rainy season and only when there is a significant amount of overflow that is sent to sea. According to Brown, it teleports water that naturally falls to us during the rainier seasons to the dry seasons when we need it the most. 180 miles of canals would be used to transport the water to the sites project in the vicinity of Maxwell. The vast majority of those, except for 12 miles, already exist. I think the problems are becoming more serious and that necessitates, you know, putting something like this into place," said Brown. He cited the changing climate, the drought conditions, lengthier drought spells, wetter wets, and drier dries as contributing factors. Once built, filling it would typically take five to seven years in drier years, but in exceptionally wet years, it might just take one winter. Environmentalists who oppose the site's reservoir often do so due to concerns related to water flows in rivers and their ecological impacts. High water flows, especially during certain seasons, play a crucial role in maintaining healthy river ecosystems. These flows help with the migration of fish, the rejuvenation of aquatic habitats, and the overall well-being of aquatic life. What would be the site reservoir is home to fewer than 20 individuals, some of whom have lived there for many generations. Although the ground is suitable for cow grazing, many ranchers in this area drive their cattle to Oregon so they can eat fresh grass. According to Brown, there's pretty good support from those people who are giving up a lot to make this possible for all of us. By 2024, all funding sources, including the over $900 million that state voters have already approved, another $1 billion from the federal government, and slightly more than $2 billion from the waiting list of numerous participating municipal water agencies, towns, and counties should have received final approval. The reservoir would start operating in 2031 after the actual construction got underway in 2025. More reservoir space could be helpful, but building more dams on California's already overdrammed rivers is not a practical choice from a political or environmental standpoint. A dam serves as a physical barrier that keeps fish from migrating upstream or downstream. 43% of the habitat and migration routes used by Chinook Salmon for rearing have been blocked by dams along the Sacramento River. Cyril J. Michel, a scientist at the Institute of Marine Sciences at the University of California, Santa Cruz, said, that's been a huge problem in California. The fragmentation, he claimed, is a major factor in why the local salmon populations aren't what they used to be. In the face of California's pressing water challenges, the site's reservoir, a $4 billion project, offers a transformative vision. This colossal reservoir could reshape the state's future 
providing for agriculture, communities, ecosystems, and climate resilience. Join us to witness this remarkable journey and subscribe to follow California's path toward a sustainable water future.